Hello again everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a Christmas in January. Also doing Stash Dive Tuesday today so I'm incorporating these two hops because I am going to pull, because you know Stash Dive is all about not using more than two things from one collection. So I have the rest of the Mary and Bright Cocoa Vanilla Studio here. Which I'm gonna try to maybe just pull that off <laughs> but I've got some randoms in here too all right so I've also got the joyful collection I may grab some things from that as well because it's two different collections not cheating and because I said so so I've got a couple of the stickers left I do have two of these illustrated faith puffy stickers but are those considered the same collection but it's because it's not a collection anyway I have some random uh, gems. And then I have this bag <laughs> right here of random goodies, which so I have the Rosie Studio. I don't know which one it is in here. Um, and then just some other embellishments. I can't really see what that is. But anyway, it's a Rosie Studios collection, so I have ephemera from that. I don't have any more of the 12 by 12 paper from Mary and Bright left. But that's okay because I'm thinking I'm going to just kind of try to load a whole bunch of stuff on here. This is the photo that I'm going to be doing today. This is from 2010. This is me and some random Santa Claus at um, the Boy Scouts. I was the Cub Master, and so the Cub Master always got to, you know, <laughs> I wanted my picture taken. Just be honest. So the boys all ran, and I took my picture because I don't care. Then I have my random box of Christmas. <laughs> so it's all of my Christmas stuff that I have in here. So it is random already. And I feel like this is, you know, I'm going to get a lot of this stuff done. This is a lot of the stuff that you've seen me use for December 2021's crazy December documenting that I did and all the layouts and everything. But I do have a few things left. So I am most likely going to pull from here and just what I showed you and get it put on some kind of paper. But yeah, I think this definitely qualifies as random. And I did, you guys, when I started December, this box was heaped full and, I, and none of these containers fit in there, which now I've only got the two. But I had four of these containers that didn't go on there. I had a container that sat on my shelf and I mean there was like and we have got everything condensed down into half of this so I am like uber super crazy proud of myself so I get to buy Christmas stuff this year all right <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and like I said find some paper pull out some randoms and get started and I'll be right back all right so I went through my big stack of papers and I decided to go with this light pink looking at plaid. I've cut my photo down and I've matted it on some white cardstock <laughs> twice and inked the edges and ended up even inking the photo. I'm okay with it. It's fine. I do have ink all over my fingers. And then I did this big border and this um, scrap corrugated piece that I had put some foam on this side. I took some more scraps that I had um, and cut them down and used my Tim Holtz distress tool. See, look, I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> and distress the edges, drew some funky black lines. And what I think I'm going to do is we're going to do this kind of this little pattern ish, something like that. Pop the pole. Poto, the Poto, <laughs> the photo down there, but I do want some mixed media just of these two greens because there's a lot of green in the collection as well, um, both the Mary Ann Bright and the Joyful collection, which this is from the Joyful because I don't have any more Mary Ann Bright um, 12 by 12. I'm going to use this, these, these two Illustrated Faith, which will, that's two, um, I'm using the pattern paper from Joyful and the die cut pieces from Joyful, so that's two random. 
Um, in here I have some die cuts from the Mary and Bright and some die cuts from Rosie Studios. And then the 12 the 12 by 6 sticker sheet from Mary and Bright, which is 2. So I have not went over the 2 limit. I'm pretty proud of myself right now. Um, I just found those. They're from this somewhere, I would almost imagine. Right there. We'll just probably get them used on this layout. Um, so that is everything that I'm going to use. Whoop. We got my packaging. So we're going to take the, let me do this off screen, the Nouveau Mica Mist. I think this is Pear Pizzazz. Nope, it's Fresh Pear. I have no idea where I got Pear Pizzazz from. I shake it and then I always flip it over to make sure. Can you see that? How it's like comes down okay so that because when you do this and it's still on the top then none of the mica mist is mixed up but that one is good to go we are going to go ahead and just open her up and I'm going to knock some down on my little packaging I do not have anything on the page already it's pattern paper it is gonna soak in and that's okay just gonna kind of do 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 and hope that I have got it enough. We're just going to do the, the pear ones more for the shimmer. Probably just even do this. You guys just come in and just, you know, kind of make it all messy and have that somewhat stick out from there. And then we're going to do the same thing about how do you swap a color shine in patina. Now, sometimes when I feel like I can't get it mixed and I want to, you know, you want to shake, but you don't want to shake these because you clog the sprayer. Mine are probably already clogged anyway. The older they get, they do get clogged. I just take my handy dandy letter opener and I get it in there and I get all that stuff at the bottom mixed up. And you can actually feel it mixing up. wipe that off and swirl it a little bit more and we're good to go and this one's going to be more pigmented than the mica mist so I'll get more of a green layered down and then we'll splatter some more so we're just going to just kind of do that just a smidgy widgy So, I mean, if you don't have a letter opener or anything, you can pretty much use anything. Anything that's going to give just a bit uh, that will reach down in there and mix everything up. I just use that because uh, what else am I going to use? You know, um, a letter opener for. <laughs> and I don't even know why I have it. I've just always had a letter opener. Because I'm like, you know, old school and people always had letter openers. So, then we got that. We got a little bit of the shine. I'm going to do a little bit more of this because I really want it to shine. And we're going to let it dry and then we're going to kind of complete the layout. Because I like mixed media. Alright, so we're going to let this dry. I'm going to clean my desk off and put the lids back on these because I don't want to spill. I'll be right back and we'll do some more. Okay, I had to adjust the ankle because it looked like it was like on a slant. Anyway, so I am still working out how to put cards in. So if you guys have seen some videos where I said I'd put a card in and then it doesn't show up, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> okay, so I've got the mixed media all dried. I took the three scraps of paper and went ahead and got them stuck down on there. Um, I did put this little tis the season right there. Here's all my random items because I'm gearing up for scrap them. Just saying. Um, I took those little doilies. I cut one in half and we are going to tuck one in over here. I 
these down. So today we have several people playing, and I am not going to name anybody because I felt horrible last week. I left someone off because I did my voiceover before I knew she was going to play along, and so we're not going to name people. The only person we're going to name is Adam today because I know Adam's playing along because it's me and Adam's um, collaboration. I still feel like my camera is like dizzy. So I apologize. And I never want to leave anybody out. Never my intention. So we're just not going to name names, right? I'm going to stick this guy right down there. And we're going to use the lid. Because how else are you going to get that stuck on there, right? There's just a whole bunch of lazy random stuff. But yeah, I'm gearing up for scrap dump. <laughs> I'm trying my randomness. Everything that I find that is random, I'm like, oh, we should save that. I guess I'm doing that. That was a bad idea. <laughs> so those are going to be where my three embellishment clusters are going to go. Oh my god, the weirdest thing happened today. That light over there, my big umbrella light. It was like flickering, which is fine. I have extra bulbs, but when I opened the umbrella, the worst smell ever came out. And so I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but the new one doesn't smell. But I think I was just, I was kind of like, um, is this sucker catching on fire? So then obviously I'm like, hey husband. And he was like, not home, so he had no idea what I was talking about, and he loves when I do that stuff. Because it's exciting for me. Oh, there it is. I knew I had another one. Um, to, like, call him. Oh, I used the wrong scissors. I'm going to the scissor bad place. Also, look at my little boo-boo. Um, I may have been wrestling with the dog. Um, she's been building a fort on the floor. She pulls the blanket off of the couch and proceeds to um, make a pallet. <laughs> She's never been a floor dog. And so anyway, I hid in the blanket and she bit me. <laughs> and I was like, that's what I get for hiding in the blanket. I mean, let's be honest. She didn't really bite me per se. She nipped. She nipped me. So that's been an interesting day. Husband came home from work and he was like, uh, we have a kerosene heater in uh, his man cave. Um, and I personally like the smell of kerosene because it reminds me of being little and being at my grandparents' house when like back then it was totally socially acceptable to have kerosene heat. Clearly not anymore. And he was like, I'm going to go get kerosene and I'm going to rinse your car off. And I was like, I want to go because I've been home all day. And he was like, fine. Four hours later, and that's really not an exaggeration at this point, we're home. <laughs> and uh, we had to go to the Rural King because all the pumps that sell kerosene are out. And so he is all upset because he was like, I had to pay like almost triple the price. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's an unfortunate turn of events. So, he's not a happy camper right now. So I am like, why well, I have to go continue my scrapbook commission? Because I want to get through January and start on some February layouts. Um, yeah, because I want to be ahead. Just saying, just that's what I want to do. And I'm going to do it because I'm getting pretty far, you guys. And I'm going to try to put this right there to cover up some of those inky smudges. And then we are going to stick old St. Nick. He's going to go right here. And I, yeah, I am pretty much covering up my little doilies. And that was kind of always what I thought would happen, but they're used. And... They're just like a little base for where we uh, are starting off at. Hmm. 
I'll just put this little animal right there. We'll just make several clusters of cute little animals. Um, these are all from that Rosie Studio pack. So we're just using stuff up. This was the stuff that I used um, all through uh, last year, 2020, for the Christmas hop. So I'm pretty excited to be using it again. Just don't know about this piece. Maybe we'll put Be Merry right there. What does that look like? That looks fine. And I really wanted to use this one, but oh, we can. We can tuck it right in there and because I, you know, I did good. So my whole point this time around was to try that again to use the Coco Vanilla Studio, the newest Christmas collection that they came out with. I didn't use it for anything, and I'm going to use it for this year's um, Christmas in Hop, because I think that's super fun, right? Um, let's see. Get this stuck on here. Oh, I also drew my messy lines over there. Um because I felt like since these were outlined that those should possibly be as well. And so that's what I did. And my favorite thing is to cut stickers in half um, and try to use both parts because I don't want to feel like I'm being wasteful if I, because I know I'm tucking this and I'm going to hide a portion of it regardless. So I don't want to feel like I'm wasting. Do you, does that make sense? Am I making any sense? All right. My mother-in-law's texting me. She's feeling better. I'm very happy about that. Very happy indeed. All right. We're going to come in with... I wanted to use these guys up, so let's just... That guy right down there, because there's only two of them, so just get them used. Oh, naturally, it's stuck. And then we're going to use these cute little pearls, because I want to use all of these up too this year. Um, that's actually been my goal for quite some time, and that is just because I don't like the way I stored them. Like... That's gone forever. Oh wait, no, I see it. No, that was a lie. I lost it, you guys. It's probably, I thought I heard it hit the floor though, but anyway. Really? Nothing is working right in my life right now. <laughs> um, and I will be going into work on Monday. So I'll be in the office Monday and Tuesday. There. And then it's going to be hit and miss for a while. We got somebody out, so just gonna do what we can do. We're a pretty good team. So don't forget to check everyone else out and since this is for two hops, obviously I will have everyone listed that is playing along today with our stash dive Tuesday and everybody that's playing along with a Christmas in January. So I've been doing Christmas this, this past couple of days anyway, just trying to get some of those December albums done, which is weird that I didn't do a December album, but I also wanted to do, and well, I couldn't do my December album, in case you're wondering, is because I can only, the, the rules 
for me an Adams um, stash dive is we can't use more than two, and I'm using like basically all of the Vicky Booten um, warm wishes. So that that really wasn't gonna work. I wasn't gonna be able to do it. So I decided to go with this and just continue on my Christmas in journey. So that is going to do it for today's layout. I absolutely am loving. See how the mixed media is just barely peeking out. We've got a whole bunch of fun stuff in there. The texture from the distressed edges and my lights wash everything out. So that was kind of pointless. Um, you know what? While I'm giving all my spiel to you, I'm going to go ahead and tuck some of these little wonky guys in. And yes, they're their crosses, you know, illustrated faith, but uh, I make them be X's and kind of hide them. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check everyone else out. Give them some love. Say hey, what's up? Uh, and both hops are Christmas, and me and Adam thought it would be fun to go ahead and combine this, and Moira was like, yeah, she was on board, so... We just combined the two hops today. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. Don't forget to check everyone else out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back and scrapping along with me again today. And I will see you later with another video. Bye.